This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Looks good, right? We'll talk about Easter pie, what it is, the tradition of it, and how to order one next. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. I'm Ken Cara, and I thank you for watching. Let's get to your local information. It's a delicious tradition for many people in our area, Easter pie. It's so good, and I hear it's so hard to make thanks to all the chopping. Well, in today's news feature, Lisa Sugar talks with the king of Easter pie about how he can help you out in the kitchen this year. We are here for our annual pre-Easter visit at Forget About It with our dear friend Nate Lee, the host of Forget About It, seen right here on Channel 13 SSP TV. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Happy pre-Easter to you. Same to you. <laughs> right back at you. Now, it wouldn't be Easter without some of your fabulous food, so one of the most popular dishes served for the Easter holiday is Easter pie. Yes. And I believe you're the king of Easter pie. Wow, I don't know about that. But no? I'll, well, I'll take it. Oh, okay, you'll take it. Well, we've just crowned him the king of Easter pie. So that is one dish that you make a lot of here at Forget About It, and a lot of people place a lot of orders. Yes. So. What made you want to do Easter pie here? I mean, obviously, you grew up with it. Yeah. It was just a big thing in our family, you know, to uh, wait for that time of the year to see my mom doing that. I could picture her at the table now rolling it out. It's, and she made it on Good Friday when you couldn't eat it. There was meat, you know, she would make a cheese pie, but that's something different. But anyway, um, Love it, just, and we would wait to eat it till the end, midnight, I think we'd wait till midnight when we could eat it, and then we'd be sitting at the table. That was crazy. Yep, yep, that's a, that's a good tradition. But and, love it, yeah. But that's a tradition that has withstood time, like that is yeah. one thing, because a lot of traditions are fallen by the wayside these days, but that's one that hasn't. Well, the, the eating part of it hasn't, but the making part well, of it unfortunately true. has, yeah. Uh, more and more places are making it, and they're all good at you know they're all good at what they do. We do the kits, and that's where that idea came from. Because the hardest part of the Easter pie is going to this store and getting the sausage, and going to that store and get the ricotta, and go to this place and get the. And you're standing in line, and I mean maybe that is also a good part of it. You get to see friends out, and you're bumping into people, and but that's a lot of the work. And so we wanted to take that part out of it. So we make a kit. So we do all the chopping and the boiling the eggs and cutting the sausage and and we put it in a container and then we give you two balls of dough and a pan and go home and then be with your family. Get a couple of them. Roll it out, put it in the thing, you get the smell in the house. That was my idea to do that. That's nice to yeah. be able to get the kit and especially if you have young kids to teach them and then exactly. work it down the pike. So that's really good that you're doing that. So you have a lot of variations of this as well. Well, we did, yeah. We, we um, First of all, I put spinach in mine and nobody else does that. So we just get fresh sauteed spinach and add that to the mix. And then we also do something called Philly Pizza Steak Easter Pie. And we take everything we put in a Philly Pizza Steak and add it to the pie. So we do the cheese and eggs. And then on top of that, we put Philly cheese steak and mozzarella cheese, our sauce, and fried pepperoni. Somebody told me the origin of Easter pie. Did you ever hear how they started? Yeah. So it turns out the Italians, in their quest to use everything and never waste anything. I was going to say that, that they just took ever. everything out of their cupboard and put it in a pie? Well, what they did was, after their Easter dinner, they had hard boiled eggs, they had ham, they had, so whatever they had, they put it into a pie, but it came after the Easter meal. Oh, it came sense. from the leftovers. Really now how it got switched around to doing it ahead of time. They said, it's good, we want it for Easter. <laughs> I guess, I guess. Well, that's but, uh, really I cool. never knew that until re just recently. Somebody told me that a couple of years ago and I thought, that sounds exactly right. That sounds like... This year we made a cheese pie too. So we're doing the cheese pie ahead of time. People say, what is Easter pie? That have people that have no clue. I say it's Italian quiche. That's what it always reminded right. me of as a quiche, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's exactly. So that's the cheese pie. Oh, that looks yummy too. Right? Yeah. yeah. 
So whatever you like. <clears throat> if you don't like the meat in it, you get the one with the cheese. If you like cheesesteak, you can do that one. Absolutely. And then the regular one has the has ham and the sausage. And, yeah. All right. Well, it's um, all about the eating. So you'll be selling these for quite a while around Easter time. Yeah. Now. We're taking orders for the regular Easter pie. And uh, we're even taking orders for these on Good Friday, if some folks want to have these for Good Friday. But we're selling them on Fridays in here by the slice. So, uh, yeah. So forget about all the work, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just eat the good stuff, so come to forget about it. There you go. Nate's got yeah. it all ready for you. And if yep. you want to make it for your family, pick up a kit. There you go. All right. We hope you have a happy Easter. We hope you have a happy Easter. Same to you and yours, Lisa. Thanks. Today's news feature is brought to you by The Cheese Store and more. Go to their Facebook page to see their specials and check out their catering menu. The 10th season of SSP TV's The Girls starts tonight. Join Deb and Janine Lassant at 9 p.m. as they take a look back at some of their favorite moments from the first nine seasons of the show, and then check out their interview with the very first Miss Pennsylvania volunteer, Caroline Jones. The girls will be welcoming back some previous guests this season and meeting new friends, so follow along on SSP TV, SSPTV.com, and the SSP TV YouTube channel. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Saturday. Mostly sunny with a high near 49 degrees. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, increasing clouds with a low around 36 degrees. Sunday, rain and snow showers likely before 10 a.m., then a chance of rain showers. It will be mostly cloudy with a high near 45 degrees. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour. We have a 60% chance of precipitation. On Sunday night, a 40% chance of showers before 9 p.m. It will be partly cloudy with a low around 31 degrees. Monday, mostly sunny with a high near 50 degrees. Monday night mostly cloudy with a low around 38 degrees, Tuesday partly sunny with a high near 55 degrees, and Tuesday night a 50% chance of showers after 3 a.m., mostly cloudy with a low around 44 degrees. The Hazleton Area High School boys volleyball team won a back and forth match against Lake Lehman in Wyoming Valley Conference play. This is the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. The Cougars won the fifth game 15-8 to grab the victory and move to 2-0 in the league and 3-0 overall. Ryan Denicola had 13 kills for the Cougars and Connor Wolf had 36 assists and 12 digs. Stay tuned because next a local artist talks about his career that has spanned decades and gives us a preview of an upcoming exhibit of his work. And in sports, the Hazleton area boys and girls bowling teams talk about why they have so much fun at the lanes and the hard work they put in to be successful. Good evening everyone, here's today's Talk of the Town. Applications for the Hazleton Rotary Memorial Scholarship are available now through April 29th for high school seniors to apply. For more information, you can visit hazeltonrotary.org. The United Way Community Easter Dinner will be delivery only on Wednesday, April 13th. Requests for the dinner must be made no later than April 6th. To RSVP, you can call 211 and enter your zip code at the prompt. The 18th Annual Icebreaker Golf Outing will be held on Friday, April 29th at Edgewood with lunch starting at 11 a.m. and a shotgun start at 12 noon. The outing will be $75 per player. For more information, you can call 570-455-1509 or you can visit hazeltonchamber.org. SCB TV News, let's send sincere condolences to the family of friends of Lorraine J. Volvac, age 72, of McAdoo. Services will be private under the Damiano Funeral Home. Tonight's obituaries are being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory, with two locations in Rockland and in Drums, 570-384-3312 or 570-788-0977. And go to harmonfuneral.com.